I'm going to use a matte medium transfer so the image that you use must be reversed this is particularly important if it is text I prefer to leave the photo intact on its surrounding paper and I cut it out after the matte medium has dried what the process involves is doing four or five very thin coats allowing the image to dry in between each successive coat. When the matte medium is dry cut out your image coat the image with the final layer of matte medium Make sure that this coat is all over. And position it face down on your page. Now this is an important step. There you have to make sure there are no um, bubbles in this layer. If you haven't got a brayer, use the bowl of a spoon and you will find that you may need to brayer for some time. This next step is the patient step. You now need to leave this to dry very thoroughly and that is best overnight. Once the matte medium has dried thoroughly, use water and a paintbrush to soften the fibres on the back. Now you'll find that you will need to do this process several times. You will think that you've got all of the paper from off the image but when it dries it will have a white foggy look to it that is known as paper bloom and it simply need to re-wet and continue Be gentle with this process as you don't, if you rub too hard, you will go through and take tear holes in the matte medium. Now that I've removed the majority of the bloom from the image I'm going to complete my page with my letter so I'm going to seal my letter with a piece of double-sided tape and a rose petal Again, it's always best to coat both surfaces. And 
don't forget to burnish well with a brayer or a spoon.